Hey there, I'm Dr. Ball. Thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. I'm here to just speak to you in everyday language about disease processes, five or six minutes of your time so that you can be well informed, so that you can be the best patient you can be for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get after it. And I'm back. So we're going to talk about the silent assassin. Yeah. When blood pressure goes unchecked, that's exactly what it is. It doesn't tell you anything. You don't hear it creeping up on you at night. But all of a sudden, it hits you. It gives you no warnings most of the time. A lot of time people come into the ER with dizziness or, or things like that, and they say, this is my blood pressure. And sometimes that's the case. But you know what? You can get dizziness from it being too low. So most of the time, we see the aftermath of months and years of blood pressure when it actually has shown you the havoc it was wreaking behind the scenes. High blood pressure. We stage it now. That top number, once upon a time, uh, it was 140s over, uh, anywhere less than 140 over 90, that's good. But now we realize that that isn't good anymore. In fact, if it's in the 140s, we call it stage two hypertension. If it's in the 130s, the top number, the systolic number, we call it stage one hypertensive. Even in the 120s, we call that elevated blood pressure now. So the goal is now having a blood pressure under 120 and that bottom number under 80. Because this is what happens when that blood pressure stays elevated. Your heart is now beating against a, a high pressure system, if you will. It has to work harder. Imagine blowing up some birthday balloons. Not that hard. You could just blow them all up, take a deep breath, blow, and it inflates. Now, now using that, and now imagine using that same breath to blow up a tire inner tube. A lot more difficult. Takes a lot more force. Well, the heart and that it requires more force to pump blood against a high pressure system has to get bigger. It has to get stronger in order to pump that blood through these higher pressure, if you will, throughout your vessels in your body. And so you get an enlarged heart. But where the danger lies is the heart can get so big that it outgrows its own blood supply. Yeah. Then you get areas of the heart that suffer and don't get the blood supply that it needs. And you get something called ischemia. And then, unfortunately, you may get that widow maker. We don't want that. Now, let me add to the problem. Some people smoke. But what smoking does is constrict that blood vessel makes it very narrow. And so now not only is that heart beating through a high pressure system, but it's beating through a high pressure system with narrow blood vessels. Now let me add something else to that. Say you're diabetic also. So now you got the high blood pressure, the heart beating through the high blood pressure through a narrow vessel. And now the excess glucose in that blood is making it thick. A recipe for disaster. And that's why hypertension is that silent assassin because it's doing all these things behind the scene. And then one day we never knew what hit us. Our eyes suffer from hypertensive uh, eye disease. Our kidneys suffer from hypertensive renal disease and then hypertensive heart disease. And I haven't even mentioned stroke. But you know what? The good news in all that is all of this is treatable. All of this is preventable. And that's what we're going to talk about next time. How to prevent becoming a hypertensive patient or being uh, 
a person with high blood pressure. There are things we can do. And it's not always about popping a pill, taking a medicine, although it may have its place sometimes, but there are things you can do to be the maximum patient you can be for your own wellness. Stay tuned. Do me a favor. Click like if you like this straightforward, down to earth, everyday language information regarding your medical health and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.